This crisis has lasted weeks and it's not over yet. The worst monsoon rains in 30 years, inundating vast areas of land and hitting Pakistan's poorest province, Balochistan, the hardest. Hundreds of schools and thousands of homes have been destroyed here. Across Pakistan, hundreds of people have died and hundreds of thousands have been displaced, struggling to reach some kind of safety, to find some kind of shelter. Floods have taken everything from us. We were only able to save our kids and few livestock. We are in dire need of help as early as possible. We lost everything in the floods and left empty-handed. We don't have food, shelter or even clean drinking water. Many of us are suffering from diarrhea and other gastro diseases, while the government is not doing anything for us. Criticism of the government extends beyond the immediate response and back through previous governments. Plans to update infrastructure and resilience repeatedly not implemented, leaving people exposed to monsoon flooding every year. This year's enormous rainfalls particularly devastating. Pakistan's Prime Minister has repeatedly visited hard-hit areas this flooding season, insisting his administration is doing all it can. The 30-year record for monsoon rains has been broken this year. It's a few hundred times more than normal in Balochistan. That's brought miseries to people's lives, but both federal and provincial governments are committed to helping these poor people to their utmost. Pakistan has been ranked the eighth most exposed country in the world to the risks of climate change, a bleak window on the future for the newly grieving and displaced, contemplating how and where to rebuild their lives. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera.